that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That so was plausible. So the masking is when they produce more seeds and more acorns. Yeah. It's supposed to kill off the animal? It doesn't kill off the animals. Actually, it um, it's just that they produce so many that the animals can't possibly eat them all. And so they get the acorns turn into oak trees. Um, otherwise, the acorns they produce in other years, the rodents will just all eat. So it's overwhelming, putting too much of this food source out there that the rats can't possibly, <clears throat> or chipmunks or squirrels, can't possibly eat all of them. But then they're very well fed. So if that's the case in the city where there's less trees, um, I think cities have other issues. I think in cities you do have problems with trap sanitation. Um, I think here sanitation becomes a little bit less of an issue because we're not as densely populated. So if the rats, if rats have other sources of food, this is sort of what Mr. Panetta is saying, is that they're going to always go for the good stuff, which is seeds and nuts if they can. Um, in the city, they probably don't have access to those things um, as much anyway. So, that just throw it out. I don't, know, I don't know if it explains everything, but I think it is at the very least a contributing factor. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> yeah, now did they were the squirrels getting the acorns from the ground, yeah. or is it, is it yeah. from the tree? I think, is it, well, actually, yeah. yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I'm just thinking what squirrels the process... Squirrels do definitely go up. I don't know. Do chipmunks go all the way up the trees? Mm -hmm. I know squirrels do. I know yeah. squirrels do. Squirrels may be yeah. getting them from the trees. I'm just wondering what would cause the tree to create more. Uh, if it would, I mean, is it because of the... Uh, I don't think so. It from the tree, or would it be? It's really unclear. So there have been theories that it's a temperature difference between years. So if there's a sudden spike in the temperature, average summer temperature, that that could explain it. Some people have said that it might be the amount of precipitation up to three years before that year. Um, mm -hmm. It could be soil factors. It could be the weather conditions when the trees are flowering in the spring. It's, okay. we don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't know. But as you said, the acorns are a source of food. Yeah. And that was one thing that came up in the last meeting, right. is that uh, residents try to remove as much of the yeah. acorns, acorns or chestnuts or whatever yeah. the fruit would be from right. the tree from their yards. Right. Okay, well, thank you. That's, is there anything that we may be able to do outside of a, a, you know, a plan to exterminate this year that might so, prevent that from happening? I have, I, I meant to call the city of Silverbell, um, but they did a pilot program a couple years ago. I think it's pretty expensive though, so, but I, I really don't know. But it might be worth looking into. They used this product called ContraPest, which is, comes in these pre-dated bait boxes and it, um, it's a chemical that when female rats eat it, they are forced into premature menopause and so they become infertile. So um, if you do it during a breeding season, then over the course of three months, I think their population, of rat population, went down by 50%, wow. okay. which is pretty fast. And the nice thing about it is it's processed through the liver in under 30 minutes, so you don't have to worry about secondary effects on other predators or... Um, so it's completely metabolized? In the yeah. Liver? Okay, so no uh, residual... Right. Okay. Which is nice in theory. <laughs> and was, what was the pest? Uh, what it's called it? ContraPest, C-O-N-T-R-A-P-E-S-T. But I have no idea what the expense is mm -hmm. or if it's worth doing in a community our size. It seems like all of the other places I've been testing it have been larger, you know, larger cities. And, and that is an FDA approved? It's uh, EPA approved, yeah. EPA approved, yeah. But 
but I don't know if there are, I also don't know if there are special rules about who can put it out. If it has to be, yeah, I don't know. Registered for this particular? Yeah, okay. exactly. I, I don't know any of those details. So. But um, is it something that can be bought at Home Depot? No. 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 So I, yeah, all so of it. So it's probably by a license. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. That's a okay. professional thing. Yeah. Okay. It's probably like the dry ice. There's probably one product. That right. You have to be uh, licensed to apply it. Right. Okay. I think it's probably mm -hmm. like that. Well, thank you. That's but the city of Somerville, they would have, I think they're the only city in Massachusetts that has used it. Mm -hmm. So they would be the okay. open contact, I think. Now, do you know if they did this just on uh, public property or private? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think they did it on public property, but I'm not positive. Okay. The media reports are very minimal. How do I? So. So I think it's probably best to just contact their inspectional services department directly. Mm -hmm. okay. They're probably the only ones who really know. very interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Should we get on to the uh, the letter that we're hoping to send out? Yeah. Did, uh, did you get it from Laura? Yes. yes. Kind of a draft, and I think it's been redrafted since oh, okay. since then <laughs> since then as well too. So okay. <laughs> I have gotten the most recent. I have not. Yeah. I just had a couple of comments on the one that we yeah. had, but okay. And a, a lot of this, there's a couple of questions I had when I, when I was formulating this, what what we should do. So you'll see a couple different formats on here, and a lot, that's really just you know how how do we want it to read more than anything else, more than the contents in it. So it's kind of both content based and also how do we want it to read from an ease of reading standpoint. Uh, as you probably can imagine, once people get, you try to grab them with the first few lines, because otherwise it's in the trash. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. So the goal is for people to try to read this thing all the way through. When we talked at the last meeting, we said, you know, no more than two pages, and it's tough to even keep it to, to just two pages, mm -hmm. but seemed that I think we can, I think we can make it work uh, in that regard. But um, you know, the thought was to try to get it to, get a, um, a quick grab on the first paragraph so it enticed people to read all the way through. And then I took a little bit of what um, David Panette talked about, which is the three control mechanisms, um, you know, investigate, um, what are the three control mechanisms? Investigate, remove hydrogen, remove food sources. This is kind of the main um, staple to, you know, here's good practices for you type mm -hmm. of um, suggestion. So anything on here is obviously, um, um, I, I, I have to modify, change, erase, add in, whatever whatever you feel comfortable with doing. There's a couple things in there as far as what the town and the section, uh, what the town is doing that we probably want to um, tweak a little bit um, as well, or at least tweak the wording maybe. And then I, I did, I think if you go down and scroll down the other, just from a formatting standpoint, just another way of doing it with the numbers up, rather than just a paragraph. I think that's better. Yeah, yeah. it seems to read a lot easier. Yeah, it's just, yeah. People um, will, like information will get lost, you know. It will. The problem we do that, we may have to Probably cut down the language. Yeah. Because it's going it to, yeah, it takes up more space. So that's the only, that's what, but I wanted to throw it out to say, you know, here's another, because this does read a lot quicker when you see, yeah, see it I that way. I think I still prefer yeah. the bulleted with way. The Okay, good. You've got a bullet for the storing trash. That was one of the things that I had that wasn't in there in the original. Yeah. So that all of this was. Uh, my, um, Gene had thrown thrown out some suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, Jane from DPW had uh, yep. given some suggestions too. So I incorporated all those in here. I, I reworded a little bit of what uh, like number four. Gene reads a little bit differently, yep. but I incorporated two or three other items in, into the suggestion that you had given us. Uh, yes, that, that part is what I was, in fact, my main comment was, yes. And originally I pulled um, a couple of these paragraphs on, on the first page, um, you scroll back to you, from a couple different sources, see the, the, the uh, remove food, food sources. Yeah, you can see just the double, oh, I can see oh, what James yeah. talking about, where we need to do some space yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I don't know if we need to cite sources necessarily. Um, 
I yeah. think it's uh, probably not. I got it from a couple. I read through a, a whole host of different Board of Health. I was yeah. actually amazed at how, how many different Boards of Health um, have, have, have this. So they've yeah. done you know, the draft letters. They have brochures on their website yeah. you know, with just topics like this. So I read through a few of them, and I liked um, Howard Chad, one of them. Um, um, some language that I liked. Um, the other one, I can, I forget, it's at the bottom as well. Uh, another one. So I don't know that we need Ooh, to. Wuben, was it? Thank you. I don't know that we need to reference them. I mean, they're they're on their website. They're it's public public I knowledge. Guess as long as right? they're not taking like a direct. If you end up. Moving so the first the first two are direct quotes. Yeah. So direct, those those direct, first two bullets are the third one has been modified a little bit. So I, obviously you remove that double asterisk there and remove that source. But the question is, do we do we want to one? Do we need to? It's kind of two questions in regards to that. So these are just kind of functional questions more than material questions about the subject matter, but um, just some things to think about. I would say no and no, <laughs> as long as it's not a as long as we amend it, so it's not a cut and paste. Yeah, and it sounds like we're probably going because we, we want to change the it, numbers. Then it's yeah, fine. That but that would be my I don't know how other people feel Yeah, pretty. Pretty common standard uh, procedure, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything necessarily novel about this up there other than the exact language. Um, and the other part was, I know, Gene, you, you sent over. Um, um, some language talking more, using more of the term rodent rather than rats. And I thought about that kind of long and hard. Um, I, I don't know that I would walk away from the term rats. And the only reason for it, and uh, this is going to go up to some folks, some folks know about it, some folks don't. The folks that don't, they see rodent, eh, again, this thing might just go in the trash. They see rats, that might just grab their attention. You know, so from a standpoint of this, these first couple paragraphs to me are really your, your, your driving factor to get somebody to read this whole document or this whole letter. And the only way you get people to read it all is you got to jump off the page at them. Have you considered putting a picture of a rat on it? I had that. that was, <laughs> I had that until right this moment. I certainly wouldn't, I don't know if I'd be opposed to it or not, but. I mean, I know it's these are all practices for rodents in general, but what's the what's the uh, what are the thoughts on rodent versus rat? I think what I would say is rodent on the website, rat for this specific letter. Letter because it's going that that's specifically what we're. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I mean, that, and you want you want people to read it all the way through. You want yeah. you don't want people to be necessarily scared, but you want them to be proactive. That's Right, That's so what I would say. to me, rat may just be a more proactive term. So you want to do a find and replace? Even though I hate the sound of it. But. I know. Okay. <laughs> um, I know. Yeah. Let's. sightings of rats in your area of town. And then from then on you could do rodent, an increase in rodent that's activity. True. Because there are increases yeah, in squirrels true. and there are increases in chipmunks. If just the first one you're getting it because there are rats yeah, increase. But what do you want to, but there is an increase in rodents also. What do you want to put uh, one way you could actually tie that in is if you say increased sightings of rodents, specifically rats, and then you can just refer to rodents in the rest of the document. Uh, I like the first sentence, rats. Yeah. You know, that's that's why we're doing this, boom. Uh, and then maybe the rest of the rodents, just because what we do can help with any rodent activity. What we're, what we're recommending. Oh, yeah, this, this certainly does help with all rodent activity. But do you want to just say for purposes of raising public awareness? You know, we are providing educational material to help raise public awareness. Leave it at that. Uh, well, the reason, well, we're doing it to prevent an increase in activity. So I like it the way it is. That's good. Maybe it's that rodent, rodent. rodent activity, yep. Yeah. 
put in all road activity. I'm just road activity. I guess it's redundant. We could do it all. <coughs> properties in the second paragraph of tracking roads. I think this is a, an awkward sentence, actually. So I personally would actually re remove the everyone must see their part to control the problem and then just say, should you see, see any uh, rat, rat activity on your property, contact a license pest control company for evaluation. And then I would put a period and then, and then say, please report all all sightings to that's I think well yeah should you see any maybe should you see any rat activity con uh, contact us and then or on your private property contact a licensed pet control company because we do want to reports of any any activity right which you know should you see any rat activity contact the town or if it's on your private property then you can call your pest control but we also, yeah, just we want to make sure that they call us whether it's on their yes. property or not. Right. Right. <laughs> so right. am I getting rid of this first part? Yeah, that's almost, I don't know, I don't want to say condescending, but it's... Yeah, uh, a little, uh, I just... That's, yeah, we, we, <laughs> activity contact the fall of this or contact the us down here or on your private property contact the licensed pest control company should you see, see any rat activity so i would say should you see any rat activity on your private property contact the licensed pest right. control uh, company and then i would put a period any rest citing to us. And then I would say please would be asked, please report any all sightings. All sightings, right. All sightings to you. that part? I, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think so. Once forward, what the town is doing. Oh, shoot. I think that's capital C, huh? So the third bullet, I just don't like the word yeah. of it. The no. only one I threw it up I there is just like, this is a thought. I know. <laughs> That's the only one that yeah. I noted. Um, I do want to have some kind of language in that yeah. regard. I just don't like that language. Public information? So I almost wonder if the second 
second and third. They're kind of redundant, right? They're kind of redundant. And I wonder if you can chain, expand on the second one to include the... Uh, creating property guide prevention of best practices and promoting it in the pub to the public? Yeah, something like that. Or to inform the public. to inform the public. Aren't you really saying to provide public information including a property owner's guide to prevention and best practices? Yeah, that, that's Yeah, that sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Anything else that we are doing that we should have in there? Well, uh, not what we are, said right are we are we being a little stricter on the uh, on the codes on the sanitary codes? Are we enforcing or inspecting or? And I I know we've got dumpster inspections, but are we becoming are we getting a little more strict as far as uh, reporting and inspecting, like private? So if we're going to reference a sanitary code, it should probably be a, um, we should probably include some kind of link in there that people can look up what those are. Well, if you'll have the link up here. Yeah, and then we can You're right. reference it on that page. You can just maybe write down what the number, what, what the, Sanitation code is in, it's in the mass, is it in the mass general law? Yes. Just reference the actual code itself. Yeah. Number. Just something yeah. to give them a, a lead on uh, as to what that yeah, would be. 105 CMR 410. Where do you want to put uh, that? No. Uh, and, and is that what we're doing? I guess that's my yeah, own question. Right. Well, that's the question. That, that is a responsibility of the Board of Health. But to, I think the health agent has an ongoing... Um, well, she has an ongoing um, uh, inspection program mm -hmm. that routinely incorporates that. Right, well, I'm, what I'm speaking of is just in regard to if we get a report. I mean, if, if, if right. we get an actual report of a sighting or of, right. a, of an issue, right. uh, you know, we, we, we do have to okay. respond. That's the spreadsheet that Laura's got and mm -hmm. the yes. follow-up that goes along with that. And Correct. so the health agent is is monitoring complaints mm -hmm. and doing follow-up. Is that mm -hmm. Monitoring compliance. Okay. You know, mo yeah, monitoring compliance to the sanitary code, okay. CMR okay. 410. That's we are doing that. Responding to complaints of CMR 105 CMR 410 because we are we are keeping an eye on it and we do respond to it if there's a, a, an issue. Related to 105 CMR. Uh, 105. 
five CMR four one zero. And that's the state sanitary code. Yes. EPH. Change this all <laughs> to number. <laughs> Keep the two pages and see how we can I know. Let's pick out the most. Well, let's just put it all up there. Why don't we just, can you go with each, just to start off, Jean, can you take each line of what you can do? Um, basically, uh, every period put a new number on it. Not from there, from starting with rats. Leave, so leave them bulleted. Oh. And then. Turn them up. Okay, the, the yeah. 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 Exactly, and turn them into new method or back, whatever. Oh, okay. And do that every period. So right after food stashes as well. And uh, right where it stops routinely is the next yep. one. Yeah. And then we'll see how we want to It's another period. Routinely routine. check yep. trash barrels. And if we just all put it like this, let's see how big it gets, and then we can shrink <laughs> it from that point. Yeah. yeah. Usually doesn't go this well. So no one's more surprised. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, <laughs> um, I did this with the zoning by the Actually, that goes back. So. Two goes back into one. I think we can probably get rid of one or two things. Number three is going to be very closely aligned with the next yeah. bulleted yeah. subject yeah. matter as well. So we might we can probably eliminate three on this one altogether. Yeah. Do you want to put that up in one? Because we talk about containers. Well, just scroll down so I can see both the next one. Okay, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Say, yeah. I think we should get rid of So we, we get, one, yeah. get rid of one or the other would be my, yeah. I don't yeah. care where we get rid of it. It's my understanding, and I don't know, but it, you're allowed to put out bags without a container? Yeah, well, yeah. that was another thing that I wanted okay. to bring up maybe a little later yeah. if you want to address that. At least for the time being. Yeah, I just don't want it to seem like 
people get this and go, I, I don't know that I had to have a right. container of trash bags mm -hmm. or anything. So another idea that a, um, a citizen in the neighborhood brought up was, you know, maybe there's an availability where the town is able to purchase a bulk, um, get a bulk rate on uh, trash barrels, appropriate trash barrels. So it means so residents yeah. could come and get it at a discounted rate yeah. through us. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Somerville got theirs for free. So did Revere. Oh, really? How did they really? do that? <laughs> Cities, it's a different ballgame. Yeah. 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 Different okay. ballgame. Yeah. Because so I, I, I actually, um, mm -hmm. I actually raised that question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I did not get favorable responses. But <laughs> well, almost like the recycle bins, where we get a yeah. pretty good deal on the recycle bins, where they all yeah. a, like a plastic, you know, trash thing. Yeah. That we subsidized or something. Yeah. It's another one of those things of you know what we can do, to try to help. Yeah, could the DPW look into that, or is that no? They already did, or? Um, well, I was going by what the cities have done, where it was right. like a freebie, mm -hmm. and that that was. What about um, I think about JRM? For theirs. Oh, they they must have a bit yeah. really of fairly inexpensive receptacles, right? Yeah, I mean, there seems like there would be a way for the town to have a partnership, even right, mm -hmm. where we could say. Yeah, we sell rain barrels. Yeah, yeah. So does Jay, so... It'd be, it'd be I think, something... Something that, that, worth looking into. Yeah, it's, I think also be something worth to show the, you know, the neighborhood that we're doing what we, all that we can. And this is, you know, if we're asking you to put it inside a receptacle, we can at least yeah. help provide one for you at a, at a uh, discounted rate. Um, I know that a lot of cities have gone the route of the, you know, hinge lidded both recycling and the garbage. And some of that, I think they were, so some of got it for free from uh, whatever their waste removal was. Mm -hmm. But um, I think part of the idea was that they could renegotiate contracts with their disposal waste management companies, because if they're the ones with the lift bars, they can do the side load trucks, which require fewer to operate them and therefore can potentially lower its contract cost, but I don't know. Mm. Don't yeah, forget those trucks are more expensive. Are they? Yeah, because yeah. 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 they're all the newer. employees. Yeah. 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 Raise it with That's them. true. The new trucks mm -hmm. are true. That would be a contractual the thing with the uh, right. select board right. the, uh, right. Right. JRM. Yeah, and they may not even pick up the plastic bags in that case, right? Or they do not. No, they yeah, require they everything has to be in. They, yeah. they give it to be yeah. like, um, they give these big, really big um, trash barrels, and everything has to be able to fit inside right. there. Yeah. Right. Um, I think, with the exception, some towns will sell um, they sell a green bag essentially, yeah. green yeah. in the sense they're actually they're color green. Yeah. yeah. Um, that you purchase down at like Stop and Shop yeah. for a dollar bag, yeah. and if those Very are out big. there, then they gotta mm -hmm. you know, throw those away too. Yeah. So some of the demand, because um, what do you do if you have extra more than that one big barrel? Right. You know, yeah, you buy the bags. You to right, buy you get to buy the bags. So at least um, there's, yeah. there's... Some cities won't allow you to buy the bags, and if they, you get your 72-gallon barrel, and then some cities yeah, everyone's won't allow a little you to get the bags, but the bags are very, very flimsy. In uh, case you've never gone to, you know, PDS and looked at the bags, for example, in some places that have them, they're very, very thin. Yeah. You might have and them. people put their trash out, and the animals can get it. Right. Right. All right, so I think while we're finishing, finishing this up, some will follow up to see what we can do in regards to providing yep. receptacles at a discounted rate? Yep. Okay. I know the town manager has talked to JRM about different um, ideas when we talked about the lidded um, recycle bin and that kind of thing. Yeah. So I know he's done some of the lead work on that. And if we're going to do that, then you know maybe we want to put that in what the town is doing. Um, well, we we're not there. Anything. Yeah. I don't think we have enough well, information. Do you want to just, just not to say we're providing them, say exploring we're right now exploring, exploring, exploring options, options to see if it's possible to provide for mm -hmm. this kind of receptacles for, I for just, residents? Well, the yeah. concern there is if you can't do it, then. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, okay, we're, we're, yeah, we're I don't have any green lights that I can <laughs> announce on yeah, any of this. Right. Fine. I mean, that's <laughs> we, can, we can do that without 
I mean, we're not really doing that right now. So let's, let's tell them what we are doing, mm -hmm. I guess. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so right after that, we can remove all the, um, Jim, can you remove the asterisks? Because if we're going to yeah. modify all this and then remove the um, fifth footnote in regards to them, so footnote will save a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're going to keep this at two pages. Right <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we can always reduce the font. That's an old yeah. font. That's uh, actually, <laughs> so, <laughs> so nobody can read it. Can we put it on a letterhead? Yeah, board of health letterhead. So that's going to take us. Yeah, well, that's all right. We'll, yeah. we'll do okay. the magic to make uh, it work. Right. Okay. Yeah, we just remove the, uh, the footnotes at the, at the end. So those ones right there. So we don't have too much to get it to. Or is that, is that three or is that two? Are we three full pages? Yeah, okay. So we can have a lot of pages. Two. No, we're two. The third just has writing board of health. Okay. Cut it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we don't have a lot to do. Good. Okay. So let's go into the meat of those nerf ones that we just put up and see what else we can eliminate or if we're being redundant. Oh, any of the trash things. Yeah. Mm. Compost bins as far away from the house as possible. I don't think that's I don't think that's that's duplicated. Well, again, we don't want them necessarily, you know, the, the point is not to, to keep them far away, is to keep them out of your house, not to reduce the uh, an issue, right? Yeah. So um, that probably, again, that was a cut and paste from a different board of health. So we can I mean, we can either think about eliminating it, but we should at least modify it to say, turn your compost bins regularly to ensure that you don't have um, don't have um, uh, rodent burrows in them. Because if you turn them, they're not going to stay there. Do you want to say maintain compost bins properly so that they're not an attraction? I would I would say regularly turn your compost bins to prevent average. That well, that's under food sources. We can move, move that. that. Yeah, you're right. Move that up to. To the creepier. Well, yeah, pull that, pull four out for a second, Jim. Just delete it completely. Delete And then go up to hybrid and see if there's anything we can throw as an add-on to it. And then scroll up. Right. So you see, one of these we could actually add it on to without maybe creating a separate line. What's the next two down? <clears throat> Generally, mow lawns, trim shrubbery. Mow lawns, comma, trim shrubbery, and, and turn compost bins regularly. I think that accomplishes more, a, a lot better line than just keep my yeah, guys from the house. Yeah, regularly, routinely and regularly, you don't need both. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah, good <laughs> point. Yeah. That's fine. Do you want to say wood piles, et cetera, from yards? I mean, we can cheat that. Yeah.
actually probably hear an ad and probably sneak in old tires and other debris from the ads. See if you can bring faster appliances put in. Old tires? Old tires. See if they'll fit. Where are we on the page now? You're at the top two. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, but we have to put numbers on extremity. I was just going to take up one. Well, technically, we should put a bullet on it and then number it, but that shouldn't take up one, right? There's already a bullet there. smaller and, and hit those three areas that we just changed and made numerical. I'd like to just see it all on one page. Okay. Just to read through it real quick. And then you scroll up and down, up and down. Sure. <laughs> Say always put pet. Uh, do, we want, do we want to make a comment in food sources about yard acorns and tree tree fruit? Uh, uh, I don't know food sources. Just add one that's you know. Yeah. Or you could add on to the eliminate bird feeder line. That can be added in. Without a source or of seed. There's something in regards to, you know, um, fruit trees and leading the, like, you know, the apples and pears and stuff that fall on the ground. Um, I thought I had, I was like, I thought I cut and pasted that in there somewhere, but, but I was reading a lot on that, so mm -hmm. that's one of the things that they recommend, obviously, to, right, you know, any kind yeah. of nut, fruit trees or anything like that, that they're picking up regularly from the ground. Um, so, so add something like that in there. Like Three fruit and seeds. Nuts. Three fruit and 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 nuts. Three fruit
classified it under the source of seed and legumes entirely, I think we can probably strip that right out of there, right? And then replace it with eliminate bird, eliminate bird feeders, period, remove tree fruits, nuts, um, yeah. seeds. Goes. Yeah. Yeah, we can get that out of there. I do think we should keep this whole thing um, bold. bold, though. Yeah. Now, one more space. Your space counts. <laughs> It's just bag. saying no. Don't don't just leave it in the no, bag. Go uh, yeah. five gallon store, bucket. Store, grains, yeah, store. Yeah, store. Keep grains, yeah. grass seed, and animal feed stored, stored in thick plastic. Okay. okay. What's that? Store, store grains. Store. grains. <coughs> just swap that. Swap out. You can get some more. Stored in thick plastic or metal containers with tight lids. Yeah, that's good. Two, remove fallen tree fruit and nuts as, such as acorns to take from remove them from where? Remove them from the lawns, from from the yards. From wherever they've fallen. I think it's I think that's I mean I think that's pretty self explanatory. Yeah. Okay. this to because we're being active here and saying investigate yeah. remove harborages remove food sources do you want to store. use our store uh, keep the same uh, yeah yeah manage trash and recycling Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Investigate, remove 
focus on something anyways and go through all spacing and all that yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll worry about all okay. that minutia. Now, on the trash and recycling, do we want to modify this so that we're clear that if you do put a bag out, you know, you're not in trouble? When I read this, it makes it seem like, ooh, you're required to always have all trash. No, no if, if they do, that's fine. inside barrels, dumpsters is what we're saying. Yeah, that, well, this this is what we, they can do to, to help eliminate it. I don't want to tell them what they can do to not help eliminate it. So do we want to say manage? Crash. <laughs> Even though they can. Uh, uh, you could say, I'll try. You want to just put best practices for, tra for trash and recycling as, a, as the title? Or you could say, tightly closed and preferably placed inside barrel dumpsters with the lid closed. Or, well, it says should. Yeah, I know. It doesn't say must. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I yeah, like that. Okay. I think we, you know, yeah, okay. that's, uh, yes, they can, but that's okay. not. Okay. Have holes in them? Do you need it in? So are we going to mm -hmm. keep it the way it is? Should um, you go up one line and then never allow traps? You, you can put it on the, delete that up to the next line. And then miss that when you formatted it. That's not really a... You want to... No, no, delete it up to the next line. Yeah, let's face it. Yeah. That's how it was intended to be. Okay. And then these would be numbered? Terminate the wraps. Yeah. And then make it consistent. Oh, but not exactly. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Countless hours working on this zoning. Countless. I will never hours. have back. <laughs> Trust me, we have all kinds of tricks in the yeah, chair. Yeah, right. you do. <laughs> Good. Can I just read the last, just so that the red right on the last one? Does that format just help or does that hurt? actually see in that format. I would read. Second of the motion. Second. 
All in favor to send this out to the designated area. Three zero. We will okay. send this out. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And I guess the only other thing I had to uh, to bring up is maybe we could review the dumpster permit. The dumpster permit process. Would we like to have, as part of the annual permitting process, have them sterilized or sanitize the dumpster? Our town bylaw, as far as I can tell, does not have a, a requirement to sanitize at all. It, uh, what does it say? 4.6. Uh, 4.6. The contractor shall have the dumpster deodorized, washed, and sanitized as needed uh, or as directed by the board. Uh, as of right now, I don't believe we have any regulations on sanitizing a, a dumpster. Is that something they, they do renew annually, correct? Uh, so maybe as part of the annual uh, permitting process, we require that they sanitize the dumpster? Interested to see what goes into sanitizing the dumpster yeah. before I. Okay. I, I, but let's, that's, let's put it on well, last, that's that's what what last discussion. Like, yeah. yeah. I would like to review because I, I have seen some companies actually, they go in once once a year. Uh, a lot of those a lot of those bins that you were saying that they pick up in the yeah. trucks, they flip up. Uh, they actually sanitize those fairly frequently. Uh, but dumpsters. As far as I'm aware, I don't know how often that they sanitize them, and that may go a little bit way towards helping stop the, the rodent uh, infestation in them or the, the potential rodent activity in them. Yeah, I'd be curious to find out the, the methods um, used to, to actually do that. Uh, is, uh, Laura, is that something you could check with the with the dumpster companies to see how often they actually do that, or is that part of their policy to do? or? Uh, just, just, just to get an idea of what they actually do now and how often they may do it. Uh, also, Laura, could you check with them to see their dumpsters if they have drainage holes uh, and what what the drainage holes do or where? Well, they have to have drainage holes. They have to have drainage holes. It's just a matter of whether there really is the mesh there. Okay, but they, they do have to have drink. Yeah, yeah. Do. Okay. yeah. Otherwise, you get black water. Right. Okay. You need the water to drink. Okay, but that would be an issue too if they're not if they're not so covered they, with yeah, a mesh. They definitely right. have a mesh, and I don't Correct. Know they help you. Right. And I guess one of the other things for maybe the discussion next time is: Do we want to require? Uh, is it a town bylaw, or could the board actually require metal or hard plastic enclosures rather than just a plastic bag? You mean for homeowners? Yes. Um, I believe that's a town bylaw that, that's allowed. That falls under DPW. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I would, I, I don't know if we actually have the authority to do that. Check to see what our authority may be as far as that's concerned, but in a public health issue like this, I think uh, Waltham issued it as a they basically issued like a public health emergency, yeah, and then just said you have to do this. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I mean we could always also just say you can't put trash in, in bags out the night before. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think that's what we're implying in, yeah. in our letter, for sure. But there's no, there's no teeth to this. I know, yet. there's no teeth. <laughs> uh, Let's see a quick uh, consult with the general bylaws. I mean, I know we have the anti-litter, but... I don't remember seeing a whole lot about trash. No, trash. Yeah.
order is where I yeah. guess it would be. Yeah. 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 Trash collection yeah. 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 Construction hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're looking to see if uh, health has any authority over the way we're collecting trash in town, whether or not health could well, have storage trash. Well, and, and oh, right. I think if in an emergency we <coughs> would have yeah. that jurisdiction. Uh, emergency we would have that. I mean, there's, I, there's two ways you can either do it, either the Board of Health has the right to do it, or we can put it forward as a warrant article. Mm -hmm. if, if we wanted to. Right. Yeah, I, I actually did some research. Um, I think I might have mentioned to one or two of you that the town, the city of Salem and Peabody, my former colleagues are in a, um, a coalition of communities that got a grant from the state, and they've actually created a, a local ordinance for the city of Peabody that um, I, hadn't, I haven't been able to make it public because it hadn't gone before the city council until fairly recently, but I can go back to my colleague and ask her if it's okay for me to share that with the board. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, because creating more regulation that would fall under the Board of Health is one way to maybe get to what you're trying to mm -hmm. do, and that would be putting it in the general bylaw mm -hmm. um, and having it go before town meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's a public health emergency right now yeah. uh, to that level to actually... I'm trying to think about just driving around town if I can see it on that regular occurrence. Mm -hmm. I mean, most people must provide them barrels. Yeah, I'm most, most people, but I've, I've also seen a barrel in a plastic bag next to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. whether there's food in the plastic bag, I don't know, but, you know, it's just, I think it it's a surprising is. number of just trash bags. Yeah, and that, right. and that would tie yeah. in, but. actually, that would tie in if we're able to provide receptacles at a discount rate mm -hmm. somehow, that would, mm -hmm. that would actually tie in nicely. Yep. Uh, that would be the case, because the last thing you want to do is put a regulation and not help people right. adhere to right. it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. <clears throat> In some cities, they actually drive, have one person who just drives the trash route or drives the whole city just to check out the trash. Yeah. And tickets and says you might yeah. go down. Yep. That is true. <laughs> I, it does seem oh, that they do that. Where's yeah. the money for that yeah. position? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what yeah. yeah. the I, I, know, I know someone's going to have something to say about that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already got a couple of no's on different things. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Something you might want to think of, though, if you're going to yeah. tell people they have to do this, how you're going to enforce it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, you know, the last thing you want to do, though, is really look at it from that from a standpoint of offsetting costs in that regard, because, you know, that's really going to, you, you want to put a regulation out there that people understand is there, and most people will adhere to it. You, if you start fining every, every, single, every single time somebody does it, well, it's kind of, 
yeah. not the intention of what you're trying to do. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously, if there's somebody that's continuing to um, to do it, that's different. I don't know if I'd want someone driving around for that specific reason. No, I mean, we would do this specifically because it may decrease the, the rat population in town. I mean, that may be a health issue. Certainly could be. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any other yeah. issues yeah. or to be brought up today? <coughs> we have some scheduling on here, right? You want to look into? Yeah, for 2018 and 19, we're getting aggressive here. Yeah. <laughs> All the other boards have already posted their meetings. Oh, they are supposed to create their schedules. Aren't they are running out. Aren't they nuts? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the problem is the rooms. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, Wednesday evenings, would that work? I'm at zoning board. Um, Regularly, as is Kristen. Okay. On Wednesday. Okay. Uh, Wednesday mornings seem. I mean, we. I can do Wednesday mornings for the most part, but uh, are we really that accessible to the public? To the public if we're in Wednesday mornings. Do you want to set the next one for Wednesday morning and see what happens, or? I mean, I can do. I can do Mondays after six. I have the uh, community planning. To all the commission on Mondays. Okay. And but then, they only meet once a month. Right. So exactly. I could so do we'll just have to offset. Just do okay. a can, day. I was going to say, can we not be a yeah. set? We don't have to be a set Monday. We can be a floating. It's easier for it, room. Oh, I see. For room. Room. Unfortunately, there are so many parts of getting this mm -hmm. staffed. Yeah. Right. RCTV, the room, the okay. staff. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Um, recording secretary, and thank you, Amanda, for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, Good point. Okay. There's a lot of parts to it, so it's easier from an administration yeah. point of view to have it have a set calendar. Obviously, it could change, and meetings mm -hmm. could be added, right, or canceled, this, or whatever. Right. As this yep. change things. Sure. Yep. Um, so Monday is for Monday evening in the next month. I can do that. Um, I want to say, didn't Chris, Kristen have conflicts on Mondays? The only Monday meeting is um, CPDC. Okay. Um, there are alternate Mondays? It's always, like, we're meeting October 1st. Um, so they only they only meet once a month on a Monday, and those dates have already been set. It's the first Monday of the month. Okay. Well, except for December, it's the second Monday. More to try to Third Monday, that would be the... Tell, wait a minute, town meeting. <laughs> on a Monday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so good night. Well, we open on the 15th. The problem is, um, we think we get, we'll be done in one night, but we never know. So, for November, that could be tricky. If you went with the last Monday of the month, I don't, I, I can't imagine we, that would be like the Monday after Thanksgiving. Highly unlikely. That'll be three nights. But that means you're meeting Monday after Thanksgiving. What Thursday is? Thursday night is this one. Thursday night, this the fifteenth is when we start town meeting because Monday the twelfth is the holiday for Veterans Day. Oh, I'm going to say why the starting. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so every night, so Tuesday nights you can't do it all, right? Correct. So it's either a Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday yeah. night. And on Monday we just have to pick a date that's not, that you're not busy. Yeah. I mean, for October, um, every Wednesday night, there's a night meeting. Can we have it be basically a set schedule except for those town meeting weeks? Yes. Where we just sort of pick a different time. So if you were think, like thinking the third what? Monday. Yes. So it would be October 15th. Yeah. And then it would be... That's where we get into trouble with town meeting. Right. So maybe you go to the 26th. Yep. That solves that. Okay. 
Okay. And then December, um, if you want to meet on Christmas Eve, <laughs> I won't be available. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the 17th. 17th. Yeah. The third yeah. Monday. Yeah. 17th. 17th works. Third Monday, well, except when there's Thursday night as well. What's Thursday night? I can go Thursday night. That's that. Thursday night we have town meeting. We yeah, start we can, move, we can move around that for for a um, for one month. For one month. Yeah. One so month. Thursdays are better. Yeah. So we're gonna try the fifteenth of October, the nineteenth of November, and the seventeenth of December. So just at what time um, the twenty sixth of November, right? Because of what was that in October, John? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, the fifteenth of October. Fifteenth of October. Which that's only three weeks away, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Can, that's fine. <clears throat> and we're saying at seven o'clock. I can do anything after six. So whatever people would prefer. Six. S how about six? Six. Six. Six p.m. Are we going to rotate who's going to bring dinner? Let's take a pill of the sleepy And then the next one would be the 20th, November 26th. November 26th. And then December 17th. And then December 17th. Okay. Yeah. What about next year? Continue with that third. Let's, yeah, try the third. Would, would it be easier to just have Laura put a proposed meeting schedule together for 2019? Sure. sure. And if there's anything tricky, we'll mm -hmm. take a we'll look at it. We'll the week we'll before, week after, right? Yeah, yeah. you guys can take a look at yeah. it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. All right. Any other issues, questions? We can adjourn. Let's adjourn to adjourn. Meeting. It, 1125, 1124. Okay. Well, thank you all very much. Thank you. All right. All right.